This is a tutorial on using the APES writing strategy to produce analytical short answer responses. It helps students practice making a claim or identifying a controlling idea in response to a question and supporting that claim or controlling idea with evidence from the text and with commentary. A successful short answer response will go beyond the literal meaning of the text and dig deeper into the analysis of the text. Using this strategy is a great way to practice the core elements of analytical writing. APES is an acronym that divides the written response into very specific components. First, A stands for answering the question directly. It often helps to include a portion of the question stem in the answer to ensure that you are actually answering the question. Second, P stands for proving your claim with evidence from the text. This can take the form of actual quotes or paraphrasing a particular portion of the text. Please note that the quote must relate to the claim or the controlling idea. Also, only include the most important part of the quote so the response is as precise as possible. Third, E is to explain the quote. It's true that quotes don't actually speak for themselves. Just because a quote is a part of your answer doesn't mean it fully explains your answer. It is up to the writer to explain his or her understanding of the text. Based on that understanding, you can begin to analyze by explaining the quote's relevance to the claim or the controlling idea meaning you can answer the question why the quote is strong, supportive evidence for your claim. Finally, S stands for sum it up. This is your concluding sentence. It wraps up the analysis by addressing a big idea or drawing a conclusion. Some additional tips for writing a short answer response are to never use yes and no as part of your answers. Those are never acceptable. If you're going to write a short answer response, you need to answer the question directly. Avoid using first person pronouns. Avoid putting yourself in the answer or using personal pronouns like me, we, or us. Use third person pronouns like her, him, or they and always write in the present tense. Here is a short example of a short answer question and a response based on The Most Dangerous Game. So the, the Most Dangerous Game is a short story, but it's not really necessary for you to know what the entire story is about. The short answer question is, Explain the significance of the setting in The Most Dangerous Game. So what stands out is the word significance and setting. Those two words are going to determine what the focus is going to be of the short answer response. Significance is another word for importance. Explain the importance of the setting. And the setting is where the action where the story actually takes place. So that is the focus point or the focal point of your answer. So let's read answering the question. So the first sentence reads, the island in the most dangerous game is significant because there are many unexpected things that can happen in the harsh terrain, which makes the story more suspenseful. So that's a mouthful. So let me break that down. The first thing I want to point out is that the title of the text is in the answer, the most dangerous game. The second thing is that the word significant is also a part of the answer stem to make sure that the answer is an appropriate answer. So we know that the most dangerous game is the text. We also know 
that we're looking for something that is significant. And that significance is going to be the setting. So where is the word that identifies the setting? Well, that's the island. So now we have the island that identifies the setting. We know that it's about the story, The Most Dangerous Game, and we know that the island is important. Now the question is, why? This leads to the first word of the question, which is explain. It is significant because there are many unexpected things that can happen in the harsh terrain, which makes the story more suspenseful. So this answer is considered a claim or a controlling idea. P, prove it. For example, parts of the island are described as having, quote, jungles with a maze of trails in them, hills and swamps, which is certainly ideal for hunting. For example, is a great lead in. It lets the reader know that the writer is about to provide some type of text evidence or paraphrase or summary of some sort to support their ideas. So for example, is a great lead in. The other thing that I want to point out is that there's also some context in the proof. And the context comes in the form of parts of the island are described. So I now know before I know the description of the island, I know that it is the island that is going to be described. So the the answer doesn't just begin with, quote, jungles with a maze of trails in them. That's not a very effective way to begin your quote. Giving it some context, which is there is a description of the jungle or in a description of the island is more appropriate. Third, explain the quote. This shows that the setting is not just in nature. It is in a jungle, which can be a scary place if one is alone and being hunted, thus creating suspense. So this sentence actually does two things. It explains that what we actually just read in our, our text evidence is not just nature. This isn't just, you know, the, the description of a prairie. This is a jungle and jungles are scary places. And that description of making something seem a little bit more scary is what creates the suspense. That word suspense directly ties back to the first sentence. So I've explained the quote and then I've connected why it's a good example of the quote. Finally, sum it up. Hunting in the wild can be an adventure because nature brings a level of unexpectedness with it. This environment, however, has the opposite effect of adventure. It's scary and only the fittest survive. So in summing it up, uh, this particular, uh, it's actually two sentences. These two sentences have basically stated that this jungle is not an ordinary day out in nature, that this is something different and that this is not a positive adventure. This is scary. As a matter of fact, uh, within its context, it's also akin to survival of the fittest.